Welcome back to Let's Play Maristis. We're gonna load us a game, and then we're gonna go to a place. We have the ability to push blocks. Block pushing, oh yeah, block pushing. Now we can look at our map and see where it is that we are in need of exploring. But I wanna go back upstairs. Because upstairs there is stuff. I know at the very least we ran into a few rooms upstairs that we were unable to do anything in. So I would like to head back up there and see what is in them. Can't go in that door. It's all locked. Actually, there's a few rooms over there that we haven't been in, but uh, I kind of want to get back to those. We'll get back to them later. Because getting what you can uh, getting what you can get out of over there will involve me falling back to the first floor. So I want to do that as little as possible. Where have I been over here? We've been pretty much everywhere. So what we're shooting for is that really big room, which is like right over here. And then there's a little lady, and she's walking. Oh, also there's this. This is important. This is a thing. And then it falls. And it hits switch. And makes an item appear. That item that just appeared, really important item. I shouldn't say really important item, but like, freaking helpful. Now, I want in that door, so we're going in that door. Now, these blocks, these blocks are too big for me to poo. So, I'm gonna have to push them and do some good old-fashioned tiny block pushing. And then a little praying. Crap. Okay, trying this again. Trying this again. No, there. Okay, trying this again. Trying this again. If this room weren't so didn't take so long to reset, I'd be a lot more inclined to do this. Okay, let's try. Hey! Okay, Marissa, you're just gonna have to stand on air there for a second. There we go. That'll do her. And there is another item. We got the block orb! It'll react when there are hidden tiles in the room. And that just takes us out right there. We could go in here. Then we could go up. There's like a door or something that's locked. It's not that simple. It's never that simple. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. She was gunning for me. Oh, hey, look where we are. We made it to the front door. It's the entrance to the mansion. I don't want to go that way, though. We need to go this way. The way of this. I don't know what's down there if you fall. I kind of don't want to find out. Now, there was a room... Was it the previous room? I think it was the previous room. Let's go in the previous room. Let's go over here. Yeah, this one. Let's go ahead and get this one. Way. The item orb. If there are hidden items in a room, or just regular items in a room, the item orb will react, and we can get stuck. Now, where else can we go? We can go... Looks like the first floor is mostly done, except for new areas. There's still more stuff on the second floor, though. Way. Lock pushing. I remember it taking me forever before I eventually took this path. Ah! Like, it took me for- I just never did. I always took upstairs to get over here. And I thought, it's like, oh man, I'm gonna get all- kinds of new fancy stuff going this way, and then I ended up here, and it's like, oh, well, I guess that's kind of an interesting way of getting over here. 
we have not been this way, so let's go this way. The block orb is reacting! There are indeed invisible blocks, and they're over here. Anything in here? Anything fancy? Fancy like a block? Now you gotta be quick! Gotta be quick! Because that block will keep on sliding, it don't give a darn for nobody. Hey, room! What are these buttons? These buttons move blocks! So we want to move that one and that one. I have no idea what this switch does. Does it, like, lower this? Is that a thing? Hey! It's that door at the top of that elevator. We can totally go up now. Heck yeah. Hey, and we came out here. Alright. Okay, so aside from going back to the entrance room... Where can we go? There's a couple rooms that way. There's a piece of the broom right there, so we can go get that. Oh, that's actually behind the door that uh, we just opened up. So, next question, getting upstairs. And how do I do it? Can I even go this way to get back? No, I can't. Well, I potentially can, but actually, no, I can't. I am a liar. And by liar, I mean I frequently don't speak the truth of my own accidents. I'm an unintentional liar. I will tell you things that may or may not be true, but I will say them with the utmost authority as though they were true. Let's see here, we need to go... Okay, I know where that one is. I'm trying to remember where that one is. Yee. Back upstairs we go. Oh no, Mr. Block. Come on back, Mr. Block. Alright, doing a thing. Going places. Going places, doing stuff. Yeah. Let me up. Let me up. Marissa is eager. You know what? I'm going this way because then we don't have to do this. Boop. Such a complex puzzle. I'll just come over here and hit the switch and oh no, I solved it. Now this one is actually a little trickier. But if you look at it, you really don't have many options. I mean, you... It's like, you can push these two blocks, and if you push this one in, well, you're kind of boned because you blocked off an opening to move stuff. So let's move this one instead. And that helped us jack all, so we moved again. And now we can move this block. And the only good that does us is letting us get in here to press the switch. Which gets rid of stuff, which we can do and move a block and push it and block it and push it and block it. And we can get a piece of our broom. Heck yeah, piece of broom. What if I don't want to go down? What's down? Oh, this is actually important. I forgot about this. Let's go down. Kind of important. Place we can go. Stuff. Doing stuff. Yeah. Closed door. Hitting switch. Going in. We came through here before. There was a uh, map thing on top of this. We passed through, but this door was locked. Turns out you have to open it from the inside. Now you'll notice that little platform goes down, but we're on the first floor. So might it go to a B1? Find out some other time. Because we've got more crap to do here before we go down there. I am doer of things, jumper of blocks. Jumper of almost getting myself killed on those stupid things. If I can avoid going through that room, I will. Guys, just get to listen to the music for a little while. Because this is some good music. It's all music. -y. In the original Solstice, you only had the one background music that was playing, like, forever. 
Now this is where there are a couple of rooms you haven't gone in. So I was kind of thinking they were going to do the same thing. Crap. I was kind of thinking they were going to do the same thing and just play this the entire time, but no, the music changes. There are, I want to say, three different music tracks for the three different areas, and now we can push and block and push and block and block and push and push and block and wah. There is... what can we do in here? Oh, we can hit the switch. Now, hitting this switch, it not only makes the little potion appear, but it also puts that block in our way, which makes it so... We can't actually get it. We have to go around. So around we go. Hey, remember that one treasure map we got that showed a picture that was like right in here that a familiar looking place? We can hit it and get stuff. And then we pick up memo number two. Perfect and elegant maid. Oh man, a door opened somewhere. Maybe right here. Wait. Now where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, I wanted to go up here. Because we can get a thing. And then I wanted to go down here. And step on these and go away. Because now we can totally get a hat. Now that there will... that'll cover a great deal of the first floor. And... and a great deal of the second floor. So I guess we're going back to that entrancey room that totally has a name that I'm totally not completely forgetting. It's a challenge. You're supposed to try to think of it. In the meantime, Chris is going to push the rocks. Oh crap, I can always forget about them. You know, I could probably gun it through here if I tried really hard. Oh, I hate this room. Alright, you know what? We're in a place. Where can I go in said place? Wait. Is that the only way to get over there? That's just how I got over here, because it was fancy. But is that actually the only way to get over there? Yeah, looks like it is. Heck yeah. Oh wait, no, no, there's a much, much easier way. Alright. Hey, an item. Hey, an item. Now the thing with items is you have to be standing on top of them to pick them up. And while you're on ice, you're busy sliding, or standing there, and while you're standing there, you cannot jump. Period. Just can't jump on ice. So, we have to figure out a way to get to that item by jumping on it, which means putting it somewhere near land. Land ho! Now, I suppose we could probably, like, push it over here to this dry block. And then push it up, and then step on it. You just stepped on a potion. And it has been gained into my feet. Oh, the easier way, by the way, is just doing this. And now all we have to do is go upstairs, because that is totally a room that we cannot go in. So upstairs! But, I think I'm gonna wait until next time. So, until next time, everybody, we're gonna go upstairs, check out a new little thingy up there, and then go see what was over in that B1-like area. Until next time, everybody.